we go. This is what I came for. So I may be missing, spectating day one of Tour Britain. But I do have some awesome lanes to explore up here. Morning. <laughs> so we approach the grandeur and splendour. I just got hit in the head. Uh, the trough bowen, those cows there. They're enjoying the high life. <laughs> anyway, stay to my day job, which I don't have because I just quit it. But <laughs> ah, that's another story. One in. <laughs> I think that might have been a blank. So now all this way, I've never been before. This is all new lanes, uncharted territory. Of course so. I, uh, bad corner. Oh, tranquilo, hermano. ¿Qué pasa? Momentum! <laughs> habit from when I did the jog way down with all those bags had its benefits descending and it could send you up like a little when it's undulating like this get a nice little momentum going up it attack the descent and coast up like the appetizer because there's a big one over there and then there's the top 100 on the way back so so 1.8 miles average 6.3 just flashed up I don't know how this isn't in the top 100 it looks like it should be or is it just uh I don't know. It looked like it could get brutal from back there. I suppose it's just skirt inside it. We'll see, but when I come to Forest of Bowland, it parts of it, it remind me of when I was in Scotland. Just the remoteness of it. Yet you're so close to civilization and tunes. That's my Scottish accent again. The road continues up there. And it looks mega steep. Well, I mean, I signed up for this, so there's no point in complaining. Get pedaling. I mean, you could be trying to get where it's past with cars flying down, motorhomes, bikes, e boy. So. I'll take this any day. Well, do low power out of saddle just to mix the muscle groups up. Top, 14%. Whoa, tickler. Yeah. 
unbelievable. <laughs> nearly went that way. Very nearly. Oh, we've got an outrider, Pacer. I don't know why I'm trying to send it when I want to enjoy this view. Look at this, it is absolutely spectacular. You can see for miles, man. Catching the bike. So those e-bikers did, did make it up there. And there's some e-bikers coming the other way. I just said so, I was like, we are racing. <laughs> I am shocked at how few people are around here, like walkers, you know, whether it be just walking your dog, going for a hike, whatever, because it's, it's class. I mean, we've got no allegiance to this area. I'm not from here, I'm from Manchester. Peaks are where I grew up around. Going walking home, my dad and my uncle, but this to me is on par with it, if not better. I'd say on par. And climbs wise, there's some great climbs around it. Maybe not as challenging, like brutally steep as I like, say Pim Chair or Winnets, but it's class. Unbelievable. That looks pretty high. I can't actually remember from the amount of times I've looked at the map what it is over there, but I'm sure I'm looping back soon. I get to the top of yeah, I get to the top here, to the right. So, there for another day. So we're on the top bit of the ride, heading east. And if you memory, I think I'm on the top 100 climb. Four miles long, averaging 4.1. But the segment's not flashed up. But looking on the profile, It must be it, unless it starts further on. So I came from somewhere over there. And this road is absolutely lush and dead smooth. <laughs> Timing. Timing to perfection. Voila. Anyway, two cars have gone past in like two miles, maybe. Can't complain about that. And it was all as smooth as just when I started recording. This isn't that bad, but that was very nice about that. Yeah, so that rolls pretty steep. That's got to be the top 100 bit, or maybe the whole bit is the top 100. I think we're coming up to halfway, eased off then, from about 12% to two to four. Climbing again now from six onwards. Got to go over there. It's not so majestic. We're at the end. It's just there. Oh, this is the top. Let's ride to the cattle grid. So that's what I've just seen coming up. You can pause right there. Unbelievable. So that'd be where I've come from. Now I'm just heading back to the top. It's hella windy. Back to the top, we're gonna have a, a little munch to eat and then send it down this hill. Absolutely mild. Do it for the grand people are gone. And a little sign there, Forest of Poland. Forest of Poland? Polska? No, near Polska. Forest of Poland. Uh, yeah, so if we look on here, uh, we, we've pretty much done it. See there, a couple of little lumps, and then that's it. Let's get descending. Up here is awesome. It's a little bit windy up here. That 
was uh that's not what you want after that i was like i think i, I didn't go massively stupidly fast but i think it was about 40 miles an hour approaching the last 20 miles i wonder whether if i ever do go on youtube with this with this jab will i alienate all the the km crew not com crew wrong channel to watch for them absolutely beautiful scenery man uh, so i just actually took a moment to think that this is glorious this sunshine we've had such a lack of it especially when you live in the northwest i think manchester had its wettest july on record yeah i've still managed my best distance for consistency uh over june july and august i did at least did 800 miles per month for those three months which was awesome so last week in budapest it was like 35 degrees sweating buckets man but it was awesome well, i don't know what's going on well i do but i don't know why i'm uh, i'm going away from the the top 100 one i don't know where it is looking at what's in front of me i assumed it was that i think the <coughs> life segment's gone tits up i'm convinced this is that climb it's 14 percent holy shit! it looks like a ramp on a roller coaster Shit is steep. Fifteen. Sixteen. Any any takers on sixteen? Nope. Surely. Seventeen. Is that one my eBay auction? Come on. More. No wait. No more. Less. <laughs> Oh, deceptive, still tough. Not break a record that time. Oh well, we got up. Not as far bad as it looked, admittedly. Still tough. And look at you. Not of the car. <laughs> coming towards the end now we've got 11 miles left it's about 16k i think in new money uh pretty tired now but it's good start of august august, august where i had like a 250 week miles and then a three something 310 320 so i needed to kind of step off a bit after that just reduce it a bit because I was feeling really fatigued plus start with the gym work I think that's what caused the fatigue the most doing legs came back on the leg training as I mentioned in another ramble so off to see mate Carmen tomorrow she lives in Leeds we're going to do this route that she's got we've done it twice last couple of years uh, it includes Langbar drive train is so noisy man and you get to a thing it's called Kettlewell Kettlewell anyway Park Rash is there now I've done it once in 2021 not long after I did like a solo version of the Fred Witten so after hard knot which I need to go back because I've got a puncher halfway up that's in my time shit but I didn't have to get off and push anywhere and yeah I got a decent time with Park Rash still a minute behind my bike fitter sensei back in Lincoln from the few years I live there shout out to Russ so I'll see how I feel tomorrow my gut now says no don't do part rash 
but as I'm off the whole month there's plenty more time to do it again and I want to get great fun great Dunfeldon before I go to Mallorca in three weeks.